After Huawei was cut off by the U.S. chip supply last year, the chip shortage issue has officially entered the public's view and has impacted the automotive industry. The Chinese auto market size is 28 million units per year, accounting for more than one third of the global market. However, the output value of China's automotive chip accounts for less than five percent of the world. In recent years, with the promotion of smart cars, the use of automated chips has increased day by day. An intelligent new energy vehicle has hundreds of chips, and in key chip areas such as sensing, control, computing, communication, storage, security, and power products, etc., all Chinese car companies uses foreign chips. And 80 to 98 percent of the key components, such as MCUs, are imported. According to the China's Business Network, on April 23rd, the Great Wall Motor Factory's two production bases in Yongchuan and Shuzhou, China, will stop production due to chip shortage. The production stoppage in May and June will affect numerous popular models, including the Hubble H6, Great Wall Cannon, and Tank 300. These models performed well in the Chinese market. For example, the Hubble brand sold about 222,700 units in the first quarter, of which the Hubble H6 sold about 112,900 units, accounting for 50% of the total. All these vehicles are the main sales force of the Great Wall's brand. To get the chips, Great Wall's purchasing director was sourcing the world in February this year. And has been discussing the availability of chips with the suppliers. Some industry insiders said that the shortage of the chips in the mainland automotive industry has been a problem since the second half of last year. Now, Great Wall's two major production bases have stopped production, which has further proven that the mainstream car manufacturers like Great Walls are indeed experiencing chip shortage. Our biggest challenge is the supply chain. Especially the microcontroller chips, never seen anything like it. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said in a tweet on June second, "Fear of running out is causing every company to overorder, like the toilet paper shortage, but at an epic scale." Previously, Musk had said that Tesla needed to raise prices due to the increased pressure on the supply chain across the auto industry. Among the global semiconductor industry chain. Taiwan's Qingyuan Electronic Co. is one of the largest professional testers. Since mid-May, a new round of COVID outbreak has continued to expand in Taiwan. This will have an additional impact on the global chip supply chain, as the chip shortage has spread to 169 industries. KYEC already has announced a two-day work stoppage last week, but as the outbreak became more severe. They announced again on June seventh that the company's foreign employees are temporarily suspended from work, and production was expected to be reduced by thirty to thirty-five percent in June. KYEC has become the first semiconductor fabrication plant in Taiwan to shut down its facility during the new outbreak, which raises a concern about whether that will worsen the global core shortage issue. Well, the whole world is short of chips. Why Chinese car companies feel extremely panicked? It is because that producing chips is a very complex task, as we've talked about earlier in "Why Is China Crazy About Making Chips" video. The world's economy depends on chips to keep it running. So, for a country, whether it can manufacture or buy chips will directly impact the whole country's economic development. In the last century, countries fought for oil, but now a small chip can trigger a war between major powers without smoke. Chips not only have a key role in the industrial chain, but also play an important role in national security and technology competition. The United States, the world's largest economy, has introduced a so-called entity list for national security purpose. The listed companies and individuals are considered threatening U.S. national security interests or diplomatic interests, including human rights violations and intellectual property thefts. You may have heard that the Chinese technology giant Huawei is on this list. In the summer of 2020, the U.S. also added a series of Chinese and European organizations with perceived military backgrounds to the entity list, including Chinese chipmaker Semiconductor Manufacturing International, 
SMIC is considered to have ties to the Chinese People's Liberation Army. At this point in time, China has essentially been denied access to U.S. made chips. When China's SMIC was blacklisted, it was unable to procure advanced chip processing equipment from the United States. The U.S. sanctions caused some companies that had ordered chips from SMIC to give their orders to Taiwan's TSMC instead. To avoid the impact of U.S. sanctions, China is making big purchases elsewhere to expand its chip inventory, as reported by China Business Network on April 21st. June, a former head of Samsung Electrical Mechanics, revealed that there has been a panic stockpiling in the mainland semiconductor industry. Some Chinese companies are acquiring chips in the global market at a price difference up to 20 times, and this is what's happening now. In an interview with Phoenix TV in 2018, Zhang Zhongmo, known as the Godfather of Semiconductors and one of the founders of TSMC, talked about his view on the semiconductor industry in mainland China. He stated that. The development of the mainland semiconductor industry should focus more on the design section rather than manufacturing. In terms of chip manufacturing, it is not just a matter of spending a lot of money and putting in a lot of national efforts for a nation to succeed. It's true, according to mainland media reports, there are many blind investments and debt and projects emerged in China's current chip manufacturing industry. As of early October 2020, there are more than 50,000 chip-related companies in China. In addition, more than 12,000 new chip companies were established in 2020 alone. However, only within one year, six large semiconductor projects in China have got terminated. It's obvious that the China's semiconductor industry does not lack the number of companies. What it lacks are premium quality products and the focus on R&D. China's independent automotive chip enterprises cannot produce mid to high end chips such as electronic stability programs and electronic control systems, and the automotive chip industry is mainly diversified into low value added and low reliability areas. How big is the current gap between mainland China and Taiwan in the field of chip manufacturing? According to the news report in November 2020, SMIC's 7 nanometer level chip processing made a breakthrough. Industry insider estimated that mass production will be achieved in 2023, while TSMC already achieved mass production of 7 nanometers in 2018. As for the most advanced 5 nanometer chip of the moment, TSMC has achieved its massive production in the second quarter of 2020. So it is not an exaggeration to say that the manufacturing level of SMIC in mainland China is at least four to five years behind TSMC in Taiwan, because of its excellent performance in the semiconductor manufacturing industry. TSMC has also been described by the Taiwanese as the proud of Taiwan. The Chinese Communist Party has been sanctioned by the United States for stealing U.S. intellectual properties. And violating human rights in China, the CCP wants to invest heavily to achieve independence in key technology areas. But taking the lead in the most advanced areas, such as chip manufacturing, is not an easy task. Although these sanctions were introduced during former U.S. President Donald Trump's presidency, as of now, Biden, who takes office in January 2021, has no plans to lift them. He is more focused on cooperation with his allies and hope that the Western community will join forces to deal with the Chinese Communist Party. Analysts pointed out that the United States is expecting to strengthen cooperations with Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea in chip manufacturing, thus establishing a more secure supply chain for the United States. China will continue the struggle in the chip manufacturing sector, and the tripartite game with Taiwan and the United States will remain one of the most intricate political issues in the Asia-Pacific region in the future.